Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the restriction and modification system. Okay, so at first I discuss about the restriction enzyme. That means what is restriction enzyme? Restriction enzyme is one type of enzyme which restrict or inactivated the foreign DNA entered into the bacterial cell by for example from the virus that is the viral infection okay so the function of the restriction enzyme to restrict or inactivate those foreign DNA that means those viral DNA by cleaving or cutting those foreign DNA okay so now suppose 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 this is a bacterial cell. This is a bacterial cell. Okay. And its genomic DNA, that is its own DNA, is present here like this. Okay. This is the genomic DNA of this bacteria. Genomic DNA of this bacteria. And here a foreign DNA entered into this bacterial cell from the viral infection from the virus for example from the virus this viral dna entered into the bacterial cell and now and now the restriction enzymes present in this bacterial cell recognize particular sequence in the foreign dna and cut or cleave this foreign dna like this and make small fragments of the foreign DNA okay so now the question is how this restriction enzymes recognize this foreign DNA and how they cut this restrict this foreign DNA okay so now at first we have to discuss about the restriction enzyme so now restriction enzyme that I denoted here as a RE is also known as the restriction endonuclease this restriction endonuclease enzyme so here you can see see that this restriction endonuclease is a nucleus type of enzyme that means the nucleus enzyme cut the DNA in the phosphodiester bond in between two nucleotides. So, suppose this is a DNA. Okay. This is a DNA and here a nucleotide is present. Nucleotide number 1 and nucleotide number 2 is present and these two nucleotide is connected to each other by the phosphodiester bond so this bond is called the phosphodiester bond okay and the nucleus enzyme cut this phosphodiester bond between two nucleotides and they are separated from each other so in this way the nucleus enzyme can function okay so now you can here see that a endo term is present so actually the nucleus enzymes are two types one is exonucleus and another is endonucleus okay so at first we discuss about the exonucleus the exonucleus enzyme start cleaving the dna molecules from the from one end that means they can cut the dna start to cut the DNA from either this end or either from this end. So suppose here a nucleotide 1 is present, here nucleotide 2 and 3 present. And this exonuclease enzyme at first cut the phosphodiester bond in between the 1 and 2 nucleotides. So now the first nucleotide is separated and then they cut the phosphodiester bond in between the 2 and 3. So, in this way, they can cut the whole DNA. Okay. So, but remember that exonuclease enzyme cannot cut the DNA in between any position of the 
DNA. They only can cut the DNA from the extinct end of either side. Okay. So now, what is the endonuclease? What is the endonuclease enzyme? This endonuclease enzyme is the opposite of this exonuclease. That means this endonuclease enzyme can cut the DNA in any position of the middle of this DNA, but they cannot cut the DNA from the end position. Okay, so as the restriction enzyme is the one type of endonuclease enzyme, they can cut the DNA in between any position of this DNA. But remember that there has a regulation in the restriction enzyme. That is, this, re this restriction enzyme particularly recognize a particular sequence. That means suppose here a sequence is present like G A T C a sequence this sequence is present and a restriction enzyme particularly recognize this sequence in this DNA strand and then they cut in any particular position of this basis okay so this is the function of restriction enzyme that is they act as a nucleus endonucleus enzyme but they recognize a particular sequence to cut the DNA strand in the phosphorester bond in between two nucleotides okay so so in this way restriction enzyme function and now the most important question is how this restriction enzyme distinguish the foreign DNA from the geomic DNA that means how they distinguish that differentiate that they have to only cut the foreign DNA but do not but they have to and they do not cut the for genomic DNA of the bacteria. They only have to cut the foreign DNA. Okay. So how they distinguish this foreign DNA from the genomic DNA. Okay. So this is done by the modification enzyme. This is another type of enzyme which modify the genomic DNA of the bacteria. Okay. So let's talk about the modification enzyme. Okay, and this modification enzyme is also called the methylation enzyme. This modification enzyme is also called the methylation enzyme. Modification enzyme is methylation enzyme. Okay, the name suggests that this enzyme, this enzyme modify the DNA by methylating the DNA strand. Okay, so how they methylate? Suppose this is a DNA strand, the DNA strand and this modification enzyme recognize a particular sequence in the DNA strand. Suppose here also a sequence is present that is G, A, T, C. Okay, and this modification enzyme recognize this particular sequence and they modify this they modify this sequence by adding the methyl group that is the CH3 group in only in the adenine base or cytosine base so here they so here they only modify the base by adding only in the adenine base or in the cytosine base that is they can either methylate the adenine base or the cytosine base but not the any other base in the DNA strand so in this way now the DNA is modified and now when the restriction enzyme come to cut this DNA they are prevented by this modification so they cannot cut this genomic DNA but here in the foreign DNA, foreign viral DNA, there is no modification is present. So this restriction enzyme, so this restriction enzyme come and recognize a particular sequence of six to eight base pair and then cut this foreign DNA in those particular sequence. Okay. Now remember that the modification enzyme can be conjugated with the restriction enzyme and they can function togetherly or 
the mod modification enzyme can function independently okay